Hello everyone, uh, from this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, how to use table question answering with the Hugging Face pipelines. So basically with this, we can write a data table and ask question based on this tabular data. So without much talking, uh, let's move to the tutorial. Okay, uh, so for here, uh, we will be using uh, Transformers library from Hugging Face and Google's uh, Tapas retrain language model. So the first task is to install the libraries. So here we will be installing uh, Transformers library from Hugging Face. And then uh, we need additionally uh, Torch Scatter library. So we will be installing that from this command. It will take uh, some time to install libraries at the first place. Uh, next, uh, we can import the libraries. So we will be importing uh, automatically for table question answering and auto organizer and the pipeline uh, from the transformers. And then I will be also importing uh, pandas. Okay, so as the tabular data, uh, we will be using uh, some uh, network statistics from Okla. So uh, we will use this command to uh, download this um, data file. So here I will be using uh, CSV file. So uh, you can use uh, any uh, file uh, here. So uh, CSV file or Excel file or any kind of file. So simply here I have, uh, I'm getting that CSV file uh, which contain this network uh, information and then I will load it to a pandas data frame. All right, so let's see how the data looks like. Okay, uh, so this is the data table. It has the uh, different attributes, different cities, and then download and load speeds, and then the fastest ISP name. And then we have uh, the speed score. So, um, Okay, uh, so in order to pass this to our uh, Transformers library, uh, the first thing we need to convert this to a string. So I will be doing that using this command. All right, uh, now we can do the predictions. So first uh, we have to uh, name our uh, model. So here we will be using Google's uh, Tapas uh, base model. So the, this is the name of the model. So there are some other models in the Hugging Friends uh, model hub. You can use those as well. So we'll be using Google's uh, Tapas model. And then we will initiate the Tapas model from auto model for table question answering. And then we will create the uh, Tapas tokenizer from the tokenizer API. Uh, next, uh, we need to create the uh, pipeline object from the transforms. So we will give the pipeline uh, title table question answering, and we will use the model and tokenizer we create. Uh, here I have created a small function to get a query or the question, and also the data table, and then uh, present the uh, result. So here, Basically with this pipeline, it will emit a result with uh, multiple information. So here what we interested is uh, the cells which contain the answer. So here we are only separating the cells uh, attribute from the result dictionary and we will print the answer. So I will run this. All right, so we have now uh, created the pipeline. So uh, this is the data table we have. So I will forward some of the questions from this data table. Okay, uh, so the first question is, uh, what is the highest download speed? So uh, here we have the download speeds. Let's see how the model behaves. Right, uh, for the question, what is the highest download speed? Here uh, it should be the uh, answer should be 67.05. Uh, so 
here, as you can see, it has correctly identified the correct answer. Let's ask a few more questions. So here I'm asking uh, which city has the highest dominant display. It says uh, Geelong, uh, Victoria. So, right. So here, that is correct. The Geelong, Victoria has the highest dominant display. Okay, uh, let's ask a few more questions. So here I'm asking, uh, what is the fastest ISP of Queensland? Uh, the answer should be, yeah, Optus. Yeah, it has correctly identified. Uh, another question. So here I'm asking, which city has the highest speed score? So the speed score is given in the last column. So here we have 94.31. It's uh, the this answer for the New South Wales. So here, Warren Gun and New South Wales are as the correct ones. So with this way, we can provide our tabular data and then ask uh, natural language questions based on them. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. And thank you for watching.